Hi friends, I'm Miss Emily and today I'm going to be reading Good Night Little Blue Truck. This book was written by Jill Mick Elementary. Bumpity bump down the road came the little blue truck with good friends towed. And right here, we see a blue truck and a toad is driving it. Do, do we think toads can actually drive a truck? Thunder crashing, lightning flashing. Two good friends were homeward dashing. Such a wet and stormy night. Their warm garage was a welcome sight. And they went and shut the door, but it wasn't very long before. What do we think is going to happen? You can see all, all the thunder. Ma, said the goat. Please, little blue, can I come in here with toad in you? Cluck, said hen. It's wet inside. I need a nice, safe place to hide. So it looks like all the farm animals are trying to go in the barn with the little blue truck. Hump, said Goose. Don't care for lightning. Stormy nights are a little bit frightening. Moo, said Cow. Can I come in too? I feel safer in here with you. Have we ever been scared during a thunderstorm before? I know I have. Quack, said Duck. There's quite a crowd. Can I squeeze in? Are ducks allowed? Oink, said Pig. Is there room for me? I'm cold and wet as I can be. Beep, beep, said Little Blue. There's room for you and you and you. Everybody gather around. Thunder such a grumbly sound. So Little Blue is being very kind right now. He's letting all the farm animals come in with him. Clouds bump and tumble in the sky, but here inside we're warm and dry. And all the thirsty plants below will get a drink to help them grow. Close to blue, over and under, they listen to the rain and thunder. Duck said, loud as he could quack it, thunder's just a noisy bracket. Boom, said Goat. It isn't scary. I was not afraid. Not very. Just a noise, said Pig. No wonder I'm not scared of a little thunder. So they're trying to be brave right now during this thunderstorm. After a while, the clouds blew on. The night was still. The storm was gone. Goat said, we feel better, Blue. It's easy to be brave with you, Pig said. I feel sleepy now. Let's all head for home, said Cow. Beep, said Blue. Just hop inside, all aboard for a bedtime ride. The rain had stopped and way up high, the moon was a smile in a starry sky. Good night, pig, here's your pen. Good night, duck, good night, hen. Good night, goat. You're home now. Good night, goose. Good night, cow. Horn went beep. Engine purred. Friendliest sounds you've ever heard. Blue and Toad drove home together. Two good friends in any weather. Toad laid down on his own small bed. Croak, good night, little Blue, he said. Blue gave one small sleepy beep, then little Blue Chuck fell fast asleep. And that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading with me, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.